little sugar buggers, we are back at it again with another mod review. And this time, you guys, we are going to be reviewing the SN Bank. So Sims National Bank, a fully functioning bank system with your own personal debit and checking account. I am so excited to jump into this, but I would first like to give credit where it is due. The other day I was on Twitter just kind of wishing that there was more reasons, um, more benefits and disadvantages to being, you know, rich or, or poor in The Sims. And I feel like the only real reason uh, in the game that you would want to have a lot of money is in order to have a large house. Like, I just don't feel like there's that many reasons to be rich. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like in the previous um, generations of, of The Sims where, like, you know, you could go on vacations or have a nice car or own vacation homes. Like, there was reason there. But for this particular um, generation of The Sims, Sims 4, I just feel like it's just a mosh pit financially. Like, all your Sims share the same finances, and that's always been a thing, right? But I would like to see it change. I would like to see teens saving for their homes when they move out of the house. I would like to see other adults in the household saving for different situations, you know, weddings, parties, uh, maybe trips to Granite Falls, I don't know. So um, I did post all about that on my Twitter, and I, in came Mystic Plum Bob with a lifesaver, something I wasn't anticipating. And uh, Noah says, this mod actually allows you to have your own personal bank account. It's pretty cool and it is by the sim realist so here it is we are on the web page i couldn't even believe it i almost thought it was too good to be true but you guys and i'm telling you this feels legit it feels legit now i have reviewed things in the past with loans and i think the loan system if it's still working along with this checking account kind of situation i feel like we have a actual fully functioning working banking system now so let me just go and read this off to you if you guys aren't interested in reading um with me you can always skip forward through the video but there are some very key factors to getting this mod to work that i'm going to be mentioning in this portion of the video so let's go this mod was created to get a better handle on your sims financials the goal here is to get a real life financial options in the game for whatever storyline in play they is one to create a base base financial system or expand upon what's available in the game currency we can go and read all of these different things if you want um alone separate together whatever but i'm going to read them off to you too um, available services, multiple single owner, a single owner checking account, non-interest, ability to designate transactions to accounts, so like other Sims, transfer options from one account to another, automatic transfer sets, amounts transferred from one account to another um, at a set time frequency, uh, simoleon gram, transferring funds to another Sim inside or outside of your Sims household. So maybe you gotta pay some child support. <laughs> that check is due boo you have no excuses now now do you <laughs> okay um banking services are offered on mobile banking online banking and at a bank venue key word here people bank venue i did not read this and i couldn't get my banking system to work meaning i had the venue i had the lot right but there was no teller showing up you must have little Mi little miss sam's updated more viable venues list and it's an absolute freaking necessity in order to have your bank venue actually be fully functional with bank tellers in um, showing up. So you do need to have these packs because this is what's been used in the venue lot or the bank venue. And then also I do believe you need to have get to work. So those are the only requirements. Now, you don't need to have a bank venue in order for this mod to work. So don't feel like you have to install it because you don't. Um, you'll just be using the online banking and mobile banking options instead, which we will cover in this video. So here is how to install. It's pretty simple. If you know how to install mods, you'll be able to do this with a breeze. Um, here's some credits, some upcoming um, plans for, for this mod. I do believe they have a Patreon. So if you wanted to get early access, I don't know if that's an option. You probably could. I think they are going to be doing some vaults in, in, in the future. They're also going to be doing at home vaults and safety deposit boxes, loans, mortgages, which I'm really excited about and credit cards, money wires, overdraft and bank errors government services and taxes this is amazing uh robberies estate planning and bill system rework so i think that pretty much covers all of the logistics of the mod let's go ahead and jump on in and have a little bit of fun all right so here we are outside the bank venue and this is what it looks like naturally if you wanted you could create your own bank but there is one available to you and once you put the tray files in your game you'll just open up your gallery and it will be underneath your 
a lots category as you guys can see here and it'll say sim national bank and you'll plop it down and again if you do have the mod by little miss sam i think it is it's going to show up as a proper bank venue type which is awesome and you're going to need it just reiterating this you're going to need it in order for your bank tellers to show up so let me go and give you guys the grand tour this is the outside um i have this actually in newcrest at the momento and it's pretty simple and the inside, it's definitely very reminiscent of a traditional bank. We have like the little, the little waiting couches, a couple offices, you know, maybe to talk about your future mortgage or, 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 you know, I don't know, estate planning. I really hope they add that in. That'd be so freaking amazing. Also, lots of different types of bathrooms for when you get excited, you know, your big check came in. Oh my God, girl. Yes. And then here is what I believe to be like the vaults, I suppose. And I don't know what this is. Like supposed to be like the drive up window. I don't know. This is freaking amazing. So the only person I currently have right now that is my bank teller is Erica Tanika uh, is what I think her name is. And she isn't really wearing like, well, you know what? This is better than what she was wearing earlier. Earlier, she looked like a straight thotty. Like I'm not even kidding. Like it's, her big old titties were just like spilling out everywhere. I was like, what is going on here? Like... <laughs> What kind of business is this really? Are we are we doing some money laundering? Um, but you'll see throughout the establishment some custom some custom little um, graphics here. We have I think this is like an ATM card or something. I don't really know what's going on here. It says SNB Bank. Use your bank anytime, anywhere. Uh, and then we also have this little poster it says because your money and your banker should work as hard as you. Oh my God, executive banking. <laughs> A little, a little piggy bank. Save your money for bad days. Oh my God, I can't wait. And then SNB Bank, we're glad you're here. That is so freaking awesome. I love this. 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 Like, what the hell? All right, so here she is. She's actually at her very own working desk. Thank you for calling SNB Bank. This is Erica speaking. How may I help you? <laughs> Just pause one minute. Let me forward your call. All right, so you're going to come up here. And you are going to click on the bank teller, which is actually amazing because it's not some inanimate object. It's actually somebody on the other line. And you're going to hit the NSB option in the pie menu. And you're going to um, have a couple options here, right? So you can either bank transfer, close a bank account, open a bank account, or check your general statistics. So I think because Mr. Valentino here um, doesn't have a bank account and he really does need one, he's got a lot of, a lot of cash on hand. He's going to come over. Um, oh, Erica's ready. And we are going to open up our very first bank account. Now, I don't know if teens are able to open up their own bank accounts. I kind of want to find out because this would be amazing for especially that aspect of the game. Um, you know, teens saving for, for their first homes or future. I don't know, whatever. So SMB open bank account. Do you want to open a bank account? It will cost you 50 simoleons. So there's actually a fee associated with creating your own bank account. So let's go and open up our first account and our 50 simoleons were debited from our household funds. And it says here, um, a debit card has been added to your Sims inventory. And ooh, uh, Look at that, you guys. It actually, it really is in our inventory. SMB credit card, or no, debit card. Account number 001, credit card offer for opening a SMB bank account. Hmm, I wonder what that means. All right, so now that we have our bank account opened, we can finally transfer some money into it. So let's do a bank transfer. I really love the fact that he's coming up here. He's talking to everybody. It really does feel like we are having an actual bank transaction. Uh, we can transfer simoleons. Do automatic transfers. Let's first play around. We're gonna transfer to um, an account. So we can transfer transfer from an account to an account, or we can transfer from our household to an account. And so we only have one right now. We're gonna do the household to account, and we are going to transfer it to our bank um, 001. And then let's see, how much do I wanna transfer? Let's just play around a little bit. I'm gonna do um, like $5,000, right? We're heavy spenders. <laughs> We're really trying to save for that mansion, y'all. All right, so we have transferred $5,000 from our household account to our bank account. Now, uh, I think we're going to do um, another bank transfer, but we're going to get a 
Simoleon Graham. I love the names. All right, so we can transfer it to anybody. Now, I know that Valentino doesn't know these people in person, so it's really interesting that he can pick from anybody that is in um, your current game. So let's just, we'll transfer some Simoleons to Eric Lewis. Say he, uh, it was a business proposition for investing in stocks. We uh, bought a few. Now we have to owe him 800 Simoleons for the investment. I don't know, I'm making up something. And okay, we are we can pay with our household funds or our bank account. We're gonna debit it from our bank account. And it says you have transferred $800 to Eric Lewis. Now, if we wanted to, we can come back over here yet again and we can check our general statistics just to see what our current balance is. I'm really curious to see if it actually works. This is freaking awesome. All right, so here we are. Here's our little receipt, I guess. And it says your household balance is $12,950. Your household worth is $15,170. Uh, it tells you how much you spent, how much you earned, the number of accounts you have currently open, your account balance, and how much you've spent this week from that balance. So that's really freaking awesome. All right, so if you click your little um, bank teller, there's just a bunch of different options here. And I don't have to like go through every single one. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory and it's gonna give you something to play around with as well um, if you wanted to. But the other thing I wanted to like touch base on is the automatic transfer. All right, so I was able to figure out how to do the automatic uh, balance transfers and I think I messed up the first time. That's why it wasn't working, but like go freaking figure. Like nothing could go, nothing can go effortlessly for me. So what you're going to do is you're going to click automatic transfer as you are going to transfer to account and you're going to I don't know if it's like it says account to use so we're going to use our household funds and we are going to do a, a thousand simoleons and we're going to transfer it to our a bank account ending in 001 and then you will be able to select how often do you want this transfer to occur so like if you want to do it daily every day like after you get paid you know want to add in a couple simoleons to your bank account and have it accumulate over time you can do that or you can do every seven every 14 or every 21 days um it just depends on what your lifespan is because this seems a little this seems a little like like a stretch to me but I really like the fact that you're able to have multiple checking accounts so that you or savings accounts rather so that you can save for different things like retirement or you could save for that fancy dancy house on the hills whatever it is your heart desires you will have the option to do so now I'm going to show you guys the mobile banking system so Valentino's done he's he's basically set up his account he went ahead and um, put in some simoleons paid back Eric now say he forgot something or wanted to bank further and the bank was closed we're gonna come over and use our um, underneath our career slash household household menu, we are going to hit the NSB mobile banking system, which is cool. So if you don't want the bank venue, you don't want to have to like physically come here, you lazy SOB, uh, you can just click on your phone and it's a done deal. And again, remember, you can also do this on your computer as well. So it says NSB bank manager, manager bank account, and you can do everything that you were able to do at the bank on your phone so there you go you can even close your bank account too which is pretty freaking sweet so i think that's all that i need to show you you guys i mean if you wanted to see the computer options i mean why not just do it on your own uh it's pretty much the same exact thing i would assume but i don't want to make this video too 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 long because i'm pretty sure you get the gist of how this beast works now again i will link my review on the loans and credit card system that i reviewed like a couple years ago if it is still functioning i will update that link i highly freaking recommend this mod I am so excited I will absolutely 122 freaking percent be using this anyways guys thank you so much for hanging out with me here today and checking out this mod with me if you guys enjoyed it you know what to do boo don't forget to go ahead and comment rate and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below with Santa's notch and uh, <clears throat> I'll see you all I'll see you all next time bye guys